we will start with the simplest polygon, a triangle. Triangle is a polygon with three sides. Now, what is the sum of the interior angles of a triangle? We know that it is 180 degrees. Next, we have a quadrilateral, a polygon with four sides. How do we find the sum of interior angles? Simple, we divide it into triangles. This diagonal divides the quadrilateral into two triangles. We have 180 degrees in a single triangle. Here, there are two triangles. So, the sum of interior angles is 180 plus 180 or 360 degrees. Let's move ahead to a pentagon. A polygon with five sides. Again, we divide it into triangles. Pick any vertex and draw diagonals to all other vertices. We have three triangles. So, sum is 180 plus 180 plus 180 or 540 degrees. Quite simple, right? But what happens if we have a polygon with, let's say, 100 sides? How do we find the number of triangles that fit into this polygon, a polygon with 100 sides? Don't worry, there is an easier way out. Let's look again at this polygon with 5 sides. It has 3 triangles. Number of triangles is 5 sides minus 2 or 3. So, the sum of interior angles is 5 minus 2 times 180 degrees or 540 degrees. For the polygon with four sides, we have two triangles. It is 4 minus 2. Again, it is number of sides minus 2. So, the sum is 4 minus 2 times 180 or 360 degrees. For a triangle or polygon with three sides, we have just one triangle. Three sides minus two is one triangle. Sum of interior angles is three minus two times 180. We have 180 degrees. Do you see a pattern here? Sum of interior angles for a n sided polygon is n number of sides minus 2 times 180 degrees. Let's go back to our polygon with 100 sides. So, number of sides of the polygon n is 100. Can you find the sum of interior angles of this polygon? I suggest you pause the video and try this yourself. All right, here is the formula. Sn is the sum of interior angles of a polygon with n sides. n minus 2 is the number of triangles that will fit into this polygon. And 180 degrees is the sum of interior angles of a triangle. In this case, n is 100. So, sum equals 100 minus 2 times 180 or 17,640 degrees. We are done. Next, we will look into a problem to better understand the concept. In the following figure, EDF is a straight line. Find the value of angle CDF. Please pause the video and try this yourself.
we have to find the value of angle CDF. Let me label this as A. We have a polygon here A, B, C, D, E. The sum of its interior angles will be x plus 90 plus 150 plus 5x plus 120 degrees. x plus 5x is 6x. 90 plus 150 is 240. 240 plus 120 is 360 degrees. We know the formula for calculating the sum of interior angles. A, B, C, D, E is a pentagon, a polygon with five sides. So we have 5 minus 2 times 180. 3 times 180 equals 6x plus 360. And five forty minus three sixty equals six x, or one eighty equals six x. Dividing both sides by six, we get x equals thirty degrees. We know x, but how to calculate a? The question says EDF is a straight line. This means angle E D F is a straight angle equal to 180 degrees or 5x plus A equals 180 degrees. X is 30 degrees. So 5x is 150 degrees. 150 plus A equals 180. And A is 180 minus 150 or 30 degrees. Angle CDF is 30 degrees. We are done.